Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, and today this video will be about tip of the week for the Disneyland Resort on saving money for uh, dining at Disneyland. So if you're in a situation where you want to save money uh, eating at Disneyland, well there's all kinds of options of ways how to save money at Disneyland when it comes to uh, dining at the parks. And so uh, there are some places at uh, the Disneyland parks such as Disneyland, Disney's California Adventure, and however, there are some few restaurants out there that are pretty affordable to eat at. Like one, for example, there's Hungry Bear at uh, Critter Country at uh, Disneyland Park. The other is a uh, Smoker, or actually a uh, Smoke Jumper Grill at uh, Grizzly Peak Airfield at Disney's California Adventure. And of course, there's um, there's definitely the Golden Horseshoe Saloon at Frontierland, which they do have all kinds of uh, good menu options. Like they'll have like chicken nuggets, corn dogs. They have some good stuff there. And then next door to it, there's another restaurant that's actually a quick serve uh, food stand as well. That is Stage Door Cafe, which that one's pretty affordable. And of course, there's Tomorrowland Terrace. And of course, there's um. And then there's uh, the Red Tavern, which I heard that's pretty cheap. But um, but for that, uh, not only Smoke Jumper Girl is the only place that's affordable at Disneyland, but uh, there are some other good locations. Like I heard, um, uh, what was it? What was the place I was looking for? Oh, yeah. Um, I heard Boardwalk Pizza and Pasta is pretty affordable, uh, depending what you get there. And the other is a uh, Flo's VFA Cafe at Cars Land, which I heard that's pretty affordable. And again, depending on what you're getting there. Also, if you don't want to eat at the parks, you can absolutely definitely bring in some food into the park. Like you could bring like a sandwich in or Subway or even like a Jersey Mike's or heck bring, or heck bring like an In-N-Out burger into the park and find a place to eat at, especially when it includes uh, McDonald's and everything. And Disney does not have any problem bringing in food and and uh, they'll let you bring in any type of food whether it's uh, from a drive through restaurant anywhere or even like a homemade sandwich or whatever so uh, yeah that way you can also definitely make that way you can uh, save lots of money when you uh, go to Disneyland also the other if you're looking for a place to sit down and eat at that's pretty affordable outside of Disneyland. Oh yeah, there's definitely a lot of places you can eat at right outside of Disneyland that are actually affordable than they are for the rest of the park. Like you can go to downtown Disney and there's all kinds of restaurants that are actually affordable. Like for example, there's a uh, Earl of Sandwich that's at downtown Disney. It's like right across from the Disneyland hotel entrance and it's actually affordable and cheap and it gets and it's it gets pretty crowded just because it's cheap, it's affordable, and has all kinds of goodie sandwiches. It's just like kind of like Subway, and um, yeah, and it's pretty cheap actually. And um, and not only that, there's Black Tap. Black Tap is kind of pretty affordable too. And uh, then I heard Tortilla Joe's is pretty good, is pretty affordable too. And there's all kinds of other restaurants at Downtown Disney that that I can really think of that are pretty affordable than what they are in the parks. Also, if you go right outside of the Disneyland Resort property, like on Harbor Boulevard, there's all kinds of other restaurants that are actually affordable too. Like there's a McDonald's right across the street, which that one actually gets busy. And there is actually another one that's right down the street from, uh, from the parking garage. And, um, and uh, that one doesn't get crowded at all. And it's also... And it's also right in the area where there's other kinds of restaurants, like there's a KFC right there, there's an In-N-Out Burger, there's all kinds of other good restaurants out there, including a Starbucks as well. There's a Starbucks in that area. And it's uh, it's like um, that McDonald's and all the restaurants I said are actually down the street from uh, downtown Anaheim. And uh, also there's uh, the Anaheim Garden Walks Outdoor Mall. That's also down the street from a Disneyland, it's on Disney Way, and um, and there's all kinds of restaurants that you can eat there. There's like Cheesecake Factory, there's California's Pizza Kitchen, 
Uh, there's Johnny Rockets there. There's all kinds of other restaurants in that in that mall. And it, and of course, I'm pretty sure you could save lots of money from uh, all those restaurants inside of Disneyland Park and Disney's California Adventure. And uh, and with that, uh, if you're also wanting to save money on sweets too, like getting an ice cream or so at Disneyland, um, if you go down the street, like if you pass by uh, the Anaheim Convention Center, which it sits right behind Disney's California Adventure, and you go south towards Garden Grove, there is a uh, ice cream place called, uh, is it called, I think it's called Italian Joe's or something, and it's a uh, ice cream place, and they got all kinds of, like, good old ice cream there, and it's also a good place to watch the fireworks at night, too. So uh, that, that means you can definitely see the fireworks no problem at all. So uh, that's good. That's good to know about that. And so, yeah, those are the those are the options that you got to save all kinds of money at Disneyland. Plus, you can even Google it up of restaurants nearby Disneyland. And there's all kinds of list of restaurants you can eat at that are pretty affordable that you can save lots of money by not eating at all kinds of other restaurants out there at Disneyland and Disney's California Adventure that are pretty expensive to eat at. So. There you go. Alrighty, so with that, I hope you guys enjoy this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.